Hey there and welcome back to Tubeguruji channel. Today I am very excited to announce all new course. We are going to build educational application. Okay, we can call it as a code box e-learning application. And this application we are going to build with the help of React Native Expo and we are going to build this application completely from the scratch. Okay, so right now you see on the screen is a, a Figma uh, design software and we are just made the prototype okay as i told you we are developing everything from the scratch with you and this is just prototype let me walk through the different type of screen which we are going to build in our application and then we will talk about the technologies so very first when you launch or open the application very first time you will see this beautiful login uh, screen okay where you can able to log in with the google authentication so obviously we are going to use uh, or integrate this google authentication in our application okay so once you log in with this application it will go to this home page okay and you see on the top you will see the user's login profile pic along with the name on the right hand side it, it will show the points or coins kind of thing okay then we have a beautiful search bar where you user can search those courses okay then we have this basic courses listing their advanced courses listing and if you see each of this card is a horizontal scroll right you can scroll horizontally then if you see at this guy uh, some of the course is free some of these paid obviously to buy the paid courses you have to uh, you can ask for the membership or you can uh, we can integrate the membership and that's also we will learn how to do it okay then obviously we have some of the video courses as well so we are giving all this kind of feature so right now in the prototype right i added some of this different different type of home page okay and then we, i will teach you how to just uh, move this type uh, courses component from one place to another very easily okay once user enrolled to the course and he left the course in the middle and come back to our application again then he can able to see the in progress course with the current course progress okay if you see like this okay so that's a kind of um, functionality we will add it and obviously when user enrolled or close i started um, uh, learning that right at the top we will show uh, this kind of ui okay and obviously if you see this is complete a modern uh, ui okay next if you open any of the course you will see the course detail along with the description how much time it will take even though you have option to enroll for free or you can buy the membership for some extra features or to some extra courses which is locked okay then if you see right we have the list of chapters with the details once the chapter is complete we will gonna show the different uh, styling or everything right if style if chapter is not started see the styling is different the chapter is locked so that kind of logic and everything we are going to build in this particular course okay there are a lot of things i am very excited man so next if you open any chapter you have the information along uh, about that particular topic even though you can have different beautiful coding section okay you can run this so you will get the output everything right at the top you will see the progress how much uh, uh, in that particular chapter how much is remaining and how much is completed okay kind of thing next once you complete the chapter you will get or you will we will reward points to the user okay and this is the beautiful profile section you have user can access their courses upgrade plan obviously we can add more um a menu option into that one this is a prototype okay just overall prototype because we did not create an application yet next if you see there we can show the ranking how much um, all the users points ranking okay throughout the uh, application or or the worldwide okay so and uh, obviously we are offering the membership so obviously we are you going to integrate the payment gateway in our application so user can buy monthly membership or yearly membership and everything okay so guys there are a lot of things that we are gonna do it everything or the content of this particular or uh, all the service of this uh, in this course we are going to use freely okay so whatever the service i'm gonna tell you it's completely free and uh, this application is completely beginner friendly okay so you can uh even though you if you are new to the react native or export any technology don't worry because we are going to cover in this particular course okay starting from creating application running in on your device 
to deploying it on the Google Play Store. Okay. Also, you we are going to integrate Google Ad Mob. Okay. So that you can earn from the advertising as well. Okay. So guys, this is the complete course, and this course is divided into small videos, a small uh, some of the small small chapters, so that anyone can easily learn it. Okay. You can just open the chapter which you are facing issue, and you can just learn it. Okay. So. Uh, before doing any further delay, let's talk about the technologies. Now, let's talk about the technologies which we are going to use in this course. As you know that we are going to build React Native application. Okay. And in order to build this React Native application, we are going to use the Expo Build Tool. Okay. This Expo Build Tool is one of the best uh, tool in order to to start uh, learning the react native application for the beginners okay so it has a lot of different functionalities and very easy to build the application as well okay and it help us to run your application on the actual device as well okay so that also i'm going to teach you how to do it then for styling we are going to use telvin css and if you are new to Telvin CSS, don't worry because uh, I'm going to tell you how to do in an actual uh, React Native uh, CSS as well. Okay. So how to use it, how to do inline styling or external styling and all of these th things. Okay. Next, in order uh, to navigate or for routing, we are going to use React Navigation. Okay. Uh, this React Navigation is one of the best uh, routing and navigation for the Expo and the React Native applications. Then we are going to use clerk for the authentication and you will not find any course that, that uses the clerk uh, inside the expo react native application okay and obviously uh, there are some uh, uh, videos that i on my channel which use the clerk in the react native application okay so in this application as well we are going to use clerk and it's completely free to use then in order to store the data uh, on the back end right we are going to use high graph there are different type of CMS available in the market like Stripe, Sanity, but HighGraph is again uh, very easy to use and with the help of GraphQL, uh, we'll uh, integrate the HighGraph in our application. And again, it's a completely free. Okay. And from the start, from the uh, starting or setting the HighGraph to integrate uh, the GraphQL inside our application, everything I'm going to teach you in this particular course um we we will learn how to add the ad mob so that you can start earning okay from the advertise um for, um, from advertising okay so that also we will go now uh, learn how to integrate ad mob inside the react native expo app and this complete application we're gonna deploy it on the google play store okay so i will teach you how to build the apk once our application is completed and then how to um submit this particular apk file or uh, application file to the google play console by creating the account and they will deploy it on or we publish it on google play obviously uh, the account is not free you have to pay 99 dollar but if you don't want to pay it right then obviously we'll deploy it on the expo go uh, or expo dev tool okay that's also completely free then uh, as i told you before right we're gonna use the payment integration but as you know that uh, each payment integration you need to submit some business uh, a document or anything but if you don't have business and if you are individual don't worry i'm gonna i have one trick that can help us to add the payment integration okay with the help of uh, buy me coffee okay so it's very easy but with the help of this one we will integrate uh, this payment integration in our application and i'm damn sure that this particular type of application this integration this service and everything all the package of the services are uh, uses in the application will not find anywhere on the internet okay so guys before doing any further delay let's subscribe to my channel if you did not subscribe before also you can join my channel and like this video share this video and if you if you get the uh 1000 views for this video i'm gonna post next video immediately okay so guys see you in the next video